mother of six children, and they have all grown up and gone. I came to Ireland from Nigeria, from Southeast Nigeria. I hope you have, a, you, you understand my accent. So I'm from Southeast Nigeria, and uh, I'm the first in a family of I'm the first child in a family of twelve. So being the first in Africa, you know what that means. Responsibility and the showing good example is the key word. My parents wanted me to show responsibility. To show good example and we always go, go to mass, do this, do that. My father was, by the way, my father uh, Patrick was an um, interpreter to Irish missionaries in the 1960s. The missionaries that came over to Nigeria, uh, my father was a Catholic catechist and um, interpreter. So we grew up with that, uh, you know, sadness. You have to be good, you have to be responsible, and you have to go to school. I started from childhood. If um, you gave me, if you gave, if you give me the chance, I will write a book overnight. <laughs> because I started from childhood writing and writing. So um, the story is what gives me confidence in anywhere I'm in. Even when people tell me, come out, come out, you are, you have a lot to do. They call me multi, multi task mom. What gives me confidence is that from childhood, I was told that there were circumstances behind giving me the name Ngozi. Ngozi means blessing. There were circumstances and I came up and proved it. Uh, people around me always get blessed. And I feel that I will be a blessing to children, hopefully. So um, there are reasons. One may ask, what are the reasons why you are coming out uh, for this seat? Number one, I am full of experience and expertise. I have a lot to offer. One thing about me is that I read a lot. And I, know I have the information and communication. I belong to so many organizations. Many organizations want me to be part of them because I, I, they, they tell me that I'm a prolific writer and I'm wise. So one of the things, I, having read the Sinn Féin uh, manifestos and the uh, policies, I wish to serve. I saw the policies and the manifesto is to serve and to make a change. Ireland needs a change. I came here 25 years ago. In, in Salins, 20 years ago, we, I came to, we came to uh, Salins in uh, 2003. And since then, we've been seeing things going wrong. Lack of communication, <coughs> no inclusion, no uh, crisis everywhere, economy, housing. So I saw the policy that there will be changed. I saw all the things written by children that we are going to change this and change that. And then I buy, I bought that. I'm buying into that. And how will I do that? I want to come out in my own little way. Every little helps. My own little way, I want to bring in some ideas which are going to be out. Now, another thing is, I, there is one thing about me, I'm experienced, and I've worked in so many public and uh, private sectors. I had a degree in education in my country. As a teacher, I taught in many colleges, uh, post-primary, you know, we had uh, teenagers. You know, teaching teenagers is not easy, but I managed that. I, I was a teenager myself. I was almost a teenager when I was teaching because uh, one thing my parents gave us was education. We started very early. So I taught in schools and I got experience. I, I later became a, a journalist. Apart from teaching, I became a journalist in the 
government uh, newspaper. And then I, there were problems. I had to come over. Immediately I came over, what follows me came up. Um, I was called up in 1999, um, 14th of January. Before that, I was called, there, there was a uh, interview and the screening, the, you know, I was shortlisted among thousands of uh, refugees um, to give a talk on the opening of uh, refugee center in Ireland. Because by then, it was, there was no refugee center. It, it was new. In fact, at that, at that time, 1999, many Irish people had not seen people like us. So there, were, there was a problem. So they, they selected me and said I should come and give a talk. And I said, why me? They said they went to my, they went to file and they saw my profile. They said the, you know, the people that came to call me. Uh, said I should come and talk to Irish people. I did, and it was televised. I don't know if there is something like that. So um, all the, that made me, when when I, I made that, when I presented that, that gave me the courage to go to school. I, I said, okay, I'm going to study more and see if I can give, give back what Ireland is giving me. So um, for that, I worked in many sectors. I set up, immediately we came to Sanders, I set up an uh, internet cafe in Mace. I don't know if you hear of Suffolk Call. I ran the Suffolk Call with my children and later handed it over to them in 2011 and went to school, went back to school. 